Guys, Jimmy here on the job. Now we're just about to put this um, rocker train back together. Uh, this time with two lifters. Sorry, not two lifters, two shims. Um, the reason why we're using two shims is this cam has been reground and we've, lot, we've lost quite a lot of base circle. So that's going to introduce some lash. So effectively, I'm going to turn a hydraulic cam into a solid. It's going to have about 25 thou of lash, which will be about minus 8 degrees duration approximately. So it should bring us down about 2... 225, 226, somewhere around there. Um, I'll just show you how to do the uh, the shims, how to place the shims in the rockers and what you need to be aware of. Go. Okay guys, so here we go, here's the rocker train. All the shim, all the, uh, the lifters are out, all the shims are out, they're just empty bodies there. Here's our selection of, uh, of uh, shims. We just ran through before and, and just checked the shims, you've got to get the oil out of them. That's a good idea, I'll show you how to do that. So basically just pushing on the ball inside there, there's a little check ball. Get the oil out and then give it a flick. Alright, get all that out. Do the next one. A bit of a push. Get all that oil out. Give it a flick. Okay, you need two, two shims for this job that we're doing today. So basically that line you can see there has to face up and this these three dots here face downwards so basically as it is is you'll go like that okay you should see that line through the rocker let's get that in there uh, sometimes it's easy to do one at a time let's see how we go okay that one's seated correctly okay that's one Make sure it's actually bottom, bottomed out correctly. You don't want to make any mistakes here, putting the lifters in. Okay, that's seated correctly. I'll put the, the, uh, the lifter in. I'm not sure if this is one that I bled before. We're just going to bleed this one again. Okay, now I put that one back in there. That's good. See that bit of spring in this there? That's great. That'll fill up with oil when we start the car up. But what we want to check for is that line on the top of the lifter. Very hard to see that on the camera, but trust me, it's there. Alright guys, so that's how you just go right through and do the whole lot. Um, just remembering that these things can fall out. At the moment, that's not too bad because I've bled it. It's a lot easier. It shouldn't fall out, but I've got the sandwich bags in the top of the head just in case these guys decide to fall out. Alright, that's it. Till next time.